वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑन पॉइजॉन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ पॉइजॉन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देन एग्जांपल्स ऑन पॉइजॉन वेरिएट एंड फीचर्स और प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ पॉइजॉन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सम मोर डेफिनेशंस और the examples on poisson distribution today first definition is a recurrence relation this recurrence relation is required to find the successive probability terms or successive frequency terms of poisson variant the recurrence relation between two successive poisson probabilities is p of x equal to lambda divided by x into p of x minus 1 you can put x equal to 0 you will get p 0 x equal to 1 p 1 and so on for example if you put x equal to 0 then you will get p of 0 if you put x equal to 1 you will get p 1 and so on similarly the recurrence relation between two successive poisson frequencies and that is t x equal to lambda by x into t of x minus 1 now you know that the poisson range is x equal to 0 1 2 so on infinity then suppose we want to find t equal to uh, x equal to 1 then it is t 1 which is equal to lambda value you can write divided by 1 into t of 1 minus 1 That is nothing but t1 equal to lambda by 1 into t of 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0. Similarly, you can find t2. That is x equal to 2, which is equal to lambda value divided by x equal to 2 into t of 2 minus 1. That is nothing but t2 equal to lambda by 2 into t of 2 minus 1 is t1 and so on. Here. the first frequency term that is a t0 you can find by using the frequency function that is capital n into p of x where p of x is probability mass function of poisson distribution and n is the total frequency you can find first frequency term t0 by using this frequency function that is n into p of x and for successive frequencies that is a t1 t2 t3 and so on you can use this recurrence relation to find the successive frequencies then the next concept is fitting of poisson distribution lambda is the parameter of poisson distribution as we studied in the previous class the value of lambda determines the distribution completely to fit a poisson distribution the value of lambda has to be found out then the theoretical frequencies and the corresponding theoretical frequencies are obtained then the theoretical probabilities and the corresponding theoretical frequencies are obtained now let's see how to obtain the theoretical frequencies that is the steps in the fitting of a poisson distribution the first step is calculate the mean of the given frequency distribution here the mean is nothing but x bar equal to summation f x upon capital n where x are the observed values f are the frequencies and n is the total frequency now the second step is equate we have to equate the observed mean value to the theoretical mean value of the poisson distribution that is x bar is equal to lambda we know that x bar is the observed mean and lambda is the theoretical mean of the poisson distribution we have to equate that if we have to equal it then find p of 0 is equal to e raised to minus lambda the value of e raised to minus lambda is obtained from the statistical table corresponding to the value of lambda in the poisson frequency table we can find the value of e raised to minus lambda for p of 
zero. Then the fourth step is as T x is equal to capital N into P of x equal to x. To calculate then to calculate T zero is nothing but T zero equal to N into P of zero. That is nothing but N into e raised to minus lambda. If you want T zero then calculate n into e raised to minus lambda where n is the total frequency and e raised to minus lambda you will get in the Poisson distribution table for the value of lambda. Then the fifth step is remaining frequencies are obtained by using the recurrence relation that is Tx is equal to lambda divided by x into T of x minus 1. And the last step is write both observed and theoretical frequencies in a table so that comparison can be easily made. So these are the steps for the fitting of Poisson distribution. Then we have to note that the theoretical frequencies are approximated in such a way that the total frequency is equal to capital N. Then let's solve the examples on Poisson distribution. These are the two mark examples. In a Poisson distribution, first example is in a Poisson distribution, if standard deviation is equal to 3, find its mean. In the solution, what is given here? Standard deviation is given. Standard deviation, we know that standard deviation is equal to square root of lambda and it is given 3. Therefore, mean, we know that mean of Poisson distribution is lambda. So, mean equal to lambda is nothing but square root of lambda square. That is standard deviation square. That is 3 square and you will get 9. So, mean of a Poisson distribution whose standard deviation is 3 is equal to 9. Then, the next example, in a Poisson distribution, if mean is 4, find its standard deviation. In the solution, what is given? Mean is given. Mean equal to lambda and it is equal to 4. Therefore, standard deviation, we know that standard deviation is equal to square root of lambda, which is equal to square root of 4 and square root of 4 is equal to 2. So, standard deviation is equal to 2. One more example, find probability of x equal to 0 in a Poisson distribution with mean 5. What is given here? Given is mean that is lambda is equal to 5. Mean is given 5. Lambda is equal to 5. Then we have the probability mass function of Poisson distribution that is PMF of Poisson distribution that is P of x equal to e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x upon x factorial. Therefore, probability of x equal to 0. Here lambda is equal to 5 and x is equal to 0. Now put x equal to 0 and lambda equal to 5 in this probability mass function. Then you will get probability of x equal to 0 which is equal to e raised to minus 5 that is value of lambda into lambda raised to 0 means 5 raised to 0 upon x factorial means 0 factorial. If you simplify further then you will get e raised to minus 5 e raised to minus 5. This value is available in the statistical table for lambda equal to 5 in the column 0. You can observe the Poisson distribution table for lambda equal to 5 in the column 0, you will get e raised to minus 5 is equal to 0 0.0067 into 5 raised to 0, it is 1 and divided by 0 factorial and 0 factorial is 1. Then if you simplify this, you will get 0 0.0067 that is probability of x equal to 0 is equal to 0 
Let's solve one more example for two marks on Poisson distribution. In a Poisson distribution, if P of x equal to 0, that is probability of x equal to 0, which is equal to 0 0.0498, find lambda. Here, e raised to minus lambda value is given. What is given that we will write in the solution? Given probability of x equal to 0 and it is given 0 0.0498. Now we know the, the PMF of Poisson distribution that is P of x equal to e raised to minus lambda, lambda raised to x upon x factorial. Therefore, probability of x equal to 0. Probability of x equal to 0 means in this above PMF, in this PMF put x equal to 0 you will get e raised to minus lambda, lambda raised to 0 upon 0 factorial. Here lambda value is not given that we have to estimate but x value is given that is x equal to 0 that only put in the above PMF. In this PMF you will get e raised to minus lambda, lambda raised to 0 upon 0 factorial and which is nothing but it is given in the equation, question only it is given that is 0 0.0498 which is nothing but here e raised to minus lambda keep as it is you know that lambda raised to 0 is 1 0 factorial is 1 so remaining is e raised to minus lambda which is equal to 0 0.0498 and consider this as equation number 1 then you can observe the Poisson distribution table for lambda equal to 3.2 for lambda equal to 3.2 e raised to minus 3.2 value is 0 0.0498 and this is our second equation and this value we obtain from the Poisson distribution table. Now if you equate the equation number 1 and equation number 2, the right hand side of both the equations are same and from that we can observe if right hand side are same then left hand side must be equal. It means that lambda value is nothing but 3.2. Therefore, lambda value is equal to 3.2. So, these are some two mark questions on Poisson distribution. Next class, we will solve more examples on Poisson distribution. Thank you.